We started by talking about the England World Cup squad. We're going to finish by talking about two squads who believe they've got a, a realistic chance of winning it, uh, and that is Brazil and Argentina. Uh, apparently, Leo Messi is effectively a selector at this point, but uh, the big news really is that Neymar is going to be fit to play in the World Cup. Um, what are the odds on Neymar breaking Messi's heart? Uh, I, I mean, Brazil... Brazil, you know, if you'd gone back six months ago, you would have said Brazil were clear favourites under the, new, the coach that they've got, uh, the, the standard of play that, that, that they were producing. How do we pronounce his name? Is it Chiche, the coach? I think that's right, isn't it? Yes. Um, but anyway, the, um, but then Danny Alves breaks down in the French Cup final last week. Neymar is essentially doing uh, a Wayne Rooney 2006, coming back from a broken foot. We all remember how that ended up. Um I think Argentina's greatest problem is Argentina. Um, A a phalanx of attacking stars. um, But in defence, you know, Argentina, I always think of the team of great defenders, you know, uh, Roberto Ayala, Daniel Passarella, those type of players. Um, They just don't have those type of players these days. They're just not that great in defence. Um, and Javier Mascherano, a player that I hugely respect, is certainly past his best. So, you know, um, Brazil and Argentina are always the favourites, aren't they, going into these tournaments? But I think both of them have their problems. And uh, what you've got, actually, the fact you mentioned Neymar and Messi are just two huge, I suppose, international conglomerates running countries for them in, in those two players. Uh, I would be very interested to see Neymar's performances in some of the friendlies if he's going to appear in any of them. Yeah, like we, we, obviously we were very excited about the World Cup and that's what we're kind of most looking forward to if Neymar and Messi do cross paths because of the story that we've had over the past 24 hours that we do have a realistic possibility that Neymar is going to join Real Madrid. Messi's already been on the record about this. He says he has told <laughs> Neymar, or he says, I've already told him what I think. And I think uh, you and I, John, we can both kind of guess what Messi thinks about Neymar yeah. joining Real Madrid. I think Neymar will be at the top of uh, Messi's hatred list should he actually join Real Madrid. It is a rivalry we need. It will only make La Liga even better than it already is. Neymar joining Real Madrid would be brilliant for football, but bad for Lionel Messi's feelings, I guess. I'm sure he'll get over it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, Neymar and Cristiano Ronaldo, are they going to have to build two dressing rooms? I mean, that, that is going to be, um, that is going to be interesting. Uh, and I also, I can't believe I'm saying this, I have some element of sympathy for PSG. I mean, they, they've been pretty much used as a, uh, as a holding pen for Neymar over the, over the past year. Uh, he picked up an injury, um, and then um, the story I rem- remember actually was when they, when when PSG were actually playing uh, Real Madrid in the in the Champions League, um, and they were trying to I suppose kid on uh, Real that Neymar might play. The Brazilian Football Federation held a press conference to announce that Neymar's season was over and he won't be able to play anymore that football certain football for them. I think PSG have been used and abused, perhaps perhaps willingly in a certain point, but by Neymar. Um, if I'm honest, uh, I wouldn't want Neymar anywhere near a club that I supported because I think he is problematic. It may not actually be the individual himself, but certainly the circus around him is a big problem for me. So I wish Real Madrid good luck with him. I really do.